This video is brought to you by Mubi, a curated streaming service showing exceptional films from around the globe. Get a whole month free at mubi.com slash Anupama. Love Ajkal is a confounding film about confused people. Maybe writer-director Imtiaz Ali was trying to have the storytelling imitate the emotions of his leads, but the result is an unholy mess. The title comes from Imtiaz's own 2009 film, which also features two love stories across two time zones. But the new film isn't a sequel or a reboot. Imtiaz borrows the structure of the first film to establish the same sentiment that the rules of engagement for romance can change with the times, but the essence of love, that feeling of connection that makes life worth living, will always be the same. Once again, we have a modern couple struggling with the complexities of relationship versus ambition. And once again, there's an older, wiser confidant and advisor, Raj, who tries to steer the course of the stormy relationship between Zoe and Veer. The first film isn't considered an Imtiaz classic like Jab We Met or Rockstar, but some things in it were memorable. Like that opening breakup party, or the phrase, Aam Admi Mango People, also Pritham's terrific soundtrack and the crackling chemistry between Saif Ali Khan and Deepika Padukone, and of course, Neetu Kapoor's lovely cameo. Lavajkal juiced the magic of an old-world romance in which a boy can spend days gazing at the woman he loves who stands silently in a balcony like Juliet. The first problem with the new film is the time zones. This gap between 1990 and 2020 just isn't vast enough. Here also, Raghu gazes at Lena, who stands in her balcony. Once again, there's parental and societal opposition. Their romance shakes up Odepur. In a nicely done sequence, you see the gossip gain ground. But there's no sense of that desperate longing that Veer and Harleen had in the first film. That sepia-toned romance, which gave the film its ache, is completely missing here. But what really hobbles Love Ajkal is the 2020 story. Zoe's big dilemma is that she can't choose between her event planner career and love. She's a girl who's mapped her life out till she's 55 and her emotions for Veer disrupt these plans. But here's the thing. The film never manages to make this much-discussed career ever feel real. We see Zoe's fierce ambition. She unbuttons her shirt for a key business meeting so she looks more attractive. There's also this lame backstory about her passive-aggressive mother who insists that she prioritize career over love. But the conflict is mostly in Zoe's head. She decides not to take up an attractive job offer and then proceeds to have a meltdown about her decision. V doesn't make demands. He's like this friendly puppy dog ready to roll over for her. In fact, he's so pliable that his creepy stalking behavior early in their relationship just comes off as bumbling. Which makes me wonder if this entire two-hour, 21-minute long wrestling exercise between love and career could have just been avoided with a single conversation. It doesn't help that Zoe's anguish plays out in luxury. These two work out of this cushy co-working place. She parties in expensive nightclubs, she wears these stylish clothes. Her suffering is so superficial and so first world that it's tough to sympathize. Imtiaz has written Zoe as a girl who combines a brittle exterior with a fragile interior. She's complicated and muddled in places even unlikable. This is a tough part, both to write and to play. And neither Imtiaz nor Sara Ali Khan can make it land. The camera frames Zoe in close-ups and low angles, which only underline Sara's shrillness. Her struggle to master her expressions show. Karthik Aryan playing both Veer and Raghu does slightly better. Though Veer is a bewildering character. He's a roomy quoting idealist who's so awkward in the beginning that you wonder if there's some developmental issue. Raghu is better written. There's this good-natured goofiness about him at the start. His attempts to show love through Bollywood gestures and his body-hurling breakdancing is fun. Arushi Sharma, who plays Leena, has a lovely, dignified presence. And Randeep Huda valiantly tries to hold it all together. Like Rishi Kapoor in the first film, Randeep is mostly just narrating his own love story. But his skillful acting gives the film much-needed depth. His story, which is unexpected and yearning, is the best part of Love Ajkal. Imtiaz is Hindi cinema's high priest of romance. With this film, he tries to dive deeper and go darker. He wants to show us the loneliness of ambition and the emptiness of hookup culture. In one scene, a drunk Zoe is left by a boy on an empty street in the middle of the night. That's a chilling situation for any girl. But the film doesn't want to delve into how terrifying this actually could be. Everything is sanitized and pretty. So Zoe tells her boss, calm hi mera boyfriend hai, but you never feel her struggle. Raj is a successful businessman, but he never seems busy. Mostly, he's just lounging around, ready to tell stories when Zoe needs them. In Love Ajkal, Imtiaz once again tries to make a case for love as redemption. 
the world might be brimming with ugliness as zoe says koi magic nahi hai yahan but what will save us imtiaz insists is an uncompromising human connection in one of the film's best scenes raj weeps at the gap between what he is and what he wanted to be love aajkal urges us to seize the moment and the person who can help us bridge this gap i go into every imtiaz movie waiting to be seduced by this argument and hoping that he will transport us to that sweet spot you know dil aur duniya ke beech sadly love aajkal misses the mark by a mile Mobi is a film streaming service unlike any other. Every day Mobi premieres two new films showcasing the best of Indian cinema on their Mobi India channel and renowned international hits on Mobi World. Each and every film is hand selected, so you'll never spend more time looking for something great to watch than actually watching something great. It's like your own personal film festival, streaming anytime, anywhere. Plus, as part of your subscription, you get a hand-picked cinema ticket every single week to see the best new films at your local PVR cinema with Mobi Go. Our viewers can get Mobi and Mobi Go free for thirty days at Mobi dot com slash Anupama. That's M U B I dot com slash Anupama for a whole month of great cinema.